When I first started this blanket, I was so excited. I signed up for the class, ordered my yarn, and I couldn't wait to begin. But as the days turned into weeks and the weeks turned into months, I started falling behind in the class. I got bored with the colors and really tired of the repetition. So I decided to try the 15 minute method and that's when everything changed. Before I knew it, I was excited to work on it again. I was making progress and I finished this beautiful wallflowers blanket. Now you may be skeptical and think it's not enough time to get things done, but this is a great example of working smarter, not harder. This strategy worked so well for me that I'm doing it again, and I want to share with you how to do this too to get back on track with your project. This is a popular strategy that you can find being used in many areas of life. And the reason it's so popular is because it's simple, it's fast, and it really does work. And it works because it's a little psychological trick to work on our mindset. Getting started is always the hardest part, but once we get that momentum going, it's much easier to continue on. So if you know you only have to give your project 15 minutes of your time, you're much more likely to start rather than if you're looking at several hours. Imagine this, if you only do 15 minutes each day for one week, you'll have put nearly two hours towards that project. And that's good progress for something you weren't planning on working on anyway. So let's start by choosing what your project is going to be for this method. If you like making lists, then grab your notebook to work on this. But chances are something probably popped in your mind when you clicked on this video. The main point here is don't choose a should. I should do this because I paid so much money for the yarn. A should is the kiss of death for motivation. So instead, choose the one that you still love and want to see completed. Maybe you want to knock out the one that has the least amount of work left on it. Or maybe you want to finish the one that has the most amount of work left on it. Now, once you've chosen your project, I recommend gathering all of your supplies and keeping them in one place. To really utilize our 15 minutes, we don't want to waste time trying to find everything every time. I also like to include an index card for keeping notes. I write everything down on my index card now to help remember my progress. This is what stopped me from restarting this blanket in the first place. I'd forgotten everything. So lesson learned, after I finish the step in the pattern, I write a note for myself on where I've left off. And then once I've gathered everything, I like to place it somewhere that it's easily accessible. Normally I keep my projects in a mesh bag or cubby bin, but for this project I have this lovely caddy that was sent to me by Ivy from Molly Ollie. This is an organizer that is made of sturdy polyester and heavy duty felt. It has eight pockets plus a zipper compartment with five elastic loops. This is really handy for hooks, scissors, and notions. Now this is a teal rose combination, but it also comes in a gray turquoise that is really pretty too. I like that it has this optional divider. That's great if you're wanting to separate your supplies, but for now I'm taking it out because my project fits perfectly inside of it. And look, the colors match. If you like the look of this, there's a link in the description box below for a 10% discount if you buy within the next two weeks. So be sure to check that out. This final tip is really important and I can't emphasize this enough. Use a timer. If you just look at the time on your watch and you say you'll work for 15 minutes, it'll be a distraction because you'll keep checking the time, anticipating when it's going to end. That defeats the purpose and you'll lose focus. So set your timer and devote to it fully. You're going to be surprised at how much you actually get done. When the timer runs out, if you want to keep going, you can, but it's also important for you to stop when the time is up too. This will help rewire your relationship with your project. I found that after a few days of working like this, I started looking forward to that time and it made me feel so much more productive. And when I do have days that I can work on it longer, I still use the timer and the rest of the time is just gravy. Again, it's a little mental game that makes such a difference. Let me know in the comments what you're going to be working on and I'll be sharing the progress of mine over on Instagram. Now, if you want some more tips on preparing and organizing, I think you'll find these videos helpful and I've made sure that they're under 15 minutes.